Hey guys, what's going on? It's Noah here from Double Negative Gaming, and uh, I wanted to make a little video today, just throw this together, and this is the second time I'm recording this audio because my freaking program crashed for some reason. But yeah, uh, you'll see me in, in the background there playing Modern Warfare 3. Sorry about the aspect ratio, I don't know what's weird with that, and I'm sorry about the little twitching, that has, has to do with theater mode. But uh, yeah, that's not the main point that I wanted to get across in this video. I wanted to talk about something else today. And it's a new game coming out. The, mo the Most of you are probably familiar with it. And it is a new installment in the Assassin's Creed series, Assassin's Creed 3. And here is some art of it. That was a leaked, that was some leaked art. Uh, I think Game Informer or um, someone leaked that like last week or something. And then this week, or sometime last week, Game Informer released um, a magazine with it on the cover, and it talks about it in like 8 to 10 pages. It is a lot of information. And um, it looks really interesting. I have, I, there's the uh, magazine cover, but I played a little bit of the first one. I did not play the second one. I didn't play Brotherhood. I didn't play Revelations. I haven't played really much so this is going to be interesting for me because I hope to get this I plan on getting this because it's a reinventation of the series they wanted to go somewhere different not just in like um, the style and the story but they also wanted to go a little bit different in gameplay because in uh, there's the box art and because in uh, all the other Assassin's Creed you play as kind of this defensive assassin. I mean, he'll get the job well done when he needs to, but in this one they're portraying him as similar to that, but he's more offensive apparently. Like he has bows and arrows. Oh, he's Native American by the way. And his name is, I believe he goes by Connor, but he is a uh, Native American and he's a little more offensive. So yeah, and he was raised by the Mohawk tribe and there's a shot of there's some art of him looking over, I think Valley Forge, but um Oh, by the way, this is based in revolutionary times, if I did not mention this. Sorry, I had to record this twice now. Like, all the information that I've said or haven't said is getting jumbled in my head. Um, but yeah, it's based in revolutionary times. You'll see a lot of uh, different people, like George Washington, Benjamin Franklin. And uh, he's on the American side. And he's fighting the Redcoats. Kind of as, like, an accomplice, I guess, to the American side. But yeah, it seems you'll have a lot of different, uh, like here's one environment, you'll have a lot of different environments to go through. And uh, yeah, so as I was saying, this is a reinventation, like the combat is different, and it just, they say there's over a thousand different um, animations for Connor, and they've all been scripted for him. None of them have been taken from Altair or Ezio, and I'm sorry about that little hiccup in the video. I don't know what that is. Um, but, yeah, and they apparently have a new engine, which is their uh, an new Anvil Tech engine. And apparently they can have over a thousand people on screen at one time. Like, where the cap in the original game was like a hundred people. So that's big. That's big for them. Um, so, yeah. They gave like a big big interview and a lot of information in Game Informer and it talks about how it's going to be different how it's going to be the same um so I'm really looking forward to getting this game it looks amazing to me um and apparently it looks beautiful like I'm seeing from these shots that I'm seeing that it does look beautiful but they say if you watch some videos it looks beautiful I saw the trailer um and that looked great with their new engine. So yeah. But yeah, the main character is a Native American who was raised by the Mohawk tribe and kind of has somewhat of a resentment for um, the Redcoats, but he's not like freaking Mel Gibson the Patriot who's gonna murder all of them. Like he he believes that injustice needs to be stopped, but he's not gonna he's not just full of hate and doesn't hold a bunch of grudges apparently but yeah that's interesting to me and, and apparently um, 
Um, um, what was I saying? Apparently he has like some history with some of the historical figures and apparently Desmond will be in this one because they're talking about like 2012 the end of the world apparently has been speculated and that is a very likely guess very likely thing to happen and um, my opinion on the end of the world in 2012 is that it's not going to happen but <coughs> You know what? They could use that for plot in their game. But yeah, like I was saying, um, they have a new engine, they have a new story, they have new combat, they have uh, not a new team. The the team that's that has been designing this worked on uh, Prince of Persia: Sands of Time, the first Assassin's Creed, and the second second Assassin's Creed. Apparently, as soon as Assassin's Creed Two was finished, they started working on this. Uh, I think it's Ubisoft Montreal is the team that's doing it. But yeah, you go through um, a lot of different places like Boston and just different forests. Like, I, sh I was showing you different screenshots of them in snow forests, snow-covered forests, and you talk to George Washington a lot, apparently. He plays a significant role. Um, use a lot of bow and arrow, but your main, like, Weapons are a tomahawk, or not a tomahawk, but a hatchet, kind of, and a knife, apparently. So yeah, that should be interesting. And it just looks very interesting to me. Uh, there will be no tower defense, supposedly, in this, which everyone was complaining about that in Revelations, so they took a hint and stopped that, so that's good. But yeah, uh, overall, I just wanted to give a little brief rundown of what I thought of the game so far, what has come out on it, and yeah, and I hope you guys are excited as I am, because I'm very excited for this. Uh, I haven't been excited for a game like this in a, in a while, I don't think. But yeah, any other games you want me to talk about or see if I know anything about them, go ahead. Like, I, I've, I have a lot more information than I said. I just get, like, I get so sidetracked and scatterbrained when I do these things that I can't say it all. But yeah. Um, other than that, I think Nick has played, switching no, switching gears here, Nick has played over 24 hours of Mass Effect 3. So if you want to hear anything about that, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments, message us, do something. I know you pr not a lot of people watch us, but if you do watch us, if you want to know some stuff, about Mass Effect 3, Nick knows his stuff about that. He has over 24 hours logged in that. And yeah. Um, also, there will be a new video coming up. I don't know if it either already released or if it's going up after this one. But it is called Failtage. And what it is is basically just a parody of all the epic montages that people make. Like, I don't really have a problem with them. I find them interesting. It's just I can't, like, get good clips like that, and I can't edit that well. So I just made a fail Taj, which me and Nick have been debating for a while. So, and it's not really, like, the full thing. It's, like, supposedly, like, a trailer. So, yeah, that should be coming up, or it already came up. Doesn't really matter. Go check that out. Um, subscribe, like, favorite, do all that jazz. Uh, look into Assassin's Creed 3, Revolutionary War. I'm a big history buff, so it should be pretty cool. Um, other than that, guys, have a great day. Bye.